Could you um, address the opportunities for small to medium-sized U.S. companies generally in Africa? The opportunities, it's a very good question. The, the opportunities are enormous. But there's a big but to this. You've got to know what you're doing. Uh, you've got to have the, the money to be able to travel back and forth to Africa, and you've got to have enough capital to sustain yourself to, to develop the relationships. Because the hardest part, I think, about doing business in Africa is building the relationship. You can't just do it on a single trip, come back with a contract. Uh, there are cases of that having happened. I can cite a couple, but uh, it's, it's, the opportunity is enormous. It's where Africa really needs the assistance. They need also, though, in that regard, a trained workforce and capacity building on that side. So the, the opportunities are almost limitless in Africa for small and medium-sized businesses, but the challenges are, are very difficult. Uh, we, we tell companies that are coming, small companies that come to us, that you've got to be in this for the long term or you're wasting your money by joining CCA. Any special sectors that you would encourage? Well, there's, there's areas where the United States can compete uh, effectively. I think agribusiness, we're still the world's leader in agribusiness. Uh, lots of opportunities. Small farming would have a good opportunity in many countries that are opening their, their country to small farmers. Um, uh, still high I, IT, uh, iTech, Oracle, uh, we just helped them on a particular contract, but Oracle, Microsoft, all that where we're still the leaders gives us some competitive advantages. I think there are certain areas in the infrastructure uh, we could compete into.